Welcome everybody uh, from the, in the house of the Lord. My name is Pastor Juan Lopez Jr. from the Pleasant Grove Church of God Prophecy. I would like to welcome everyone on Facebook Live and later on in YouTube. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers of the Church of God Prophecy, all of our mothers on Facebook. Uh, and I would like to extend God's blessings upon you and your family. May you enjoy uh, Mother's Day with your family. May you, sons and daughters, uh, show appreciation to your moms. May God, may you bless them and shower them with gifts and with appreciation and love. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now uh, let us begin. Uh, this morning, uh, I would like to uh, 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 say a couple of prayer requests for a few people that two people that asked for prayer requests. Uh, for the church to pray and please I would like to announce please pray for brother Joe and his and his family and also please pray for sister uh, Deborah uh, there she's on her way to Tennessee because her her brother uh, Larry is in hospice right now so it's a very uh, difficult situation she's going through right now so please remember sister Deborah and your prayers uh, today and every day amen and also, I like to uh, pray, uh, extend the prayers, prayer requests for all, for everyone else in our church that is dealing with uh, their situations right now here uh, during this coronavirus uh, lockdown and, and coming back to normal. So uh, just remember everyone to pray for each other. This house of the Lord is supposed to be a house of prayer, so let's remember that church to pray for each other this morning. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would like to, uh, I'm going to skip announcements because I already re re said it a couple of times about the youth camp that has been canceled for 2020. Uh, but at this time, I would like to pick up uh, offerings. It's time to pick up offerings for Sunday school, for missions, and to pay your tithes. All the Let us open our Bibles to Ephesians chapter 6. Vamos a abrir nuestros libros, nuestras Biblias, al, cap, al, al libro de Efesios, capítulo 6, versículo 1 y 3. Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 1 through 3. And follow along as I read it to you this morning. And here it's talking about our children, the kids who have mothers and fathers. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Let me repeat it again. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. In other words, this is the right thing to do in the Lord. Verse 2 says, Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. So there's... It, so it says here that you must respect your mother, you must show appreciation to your mother, which is the first commandment with promise. And that honoring involves obedience and showing honor and respect toward your mom, for she gave birth to you. It says, which is the first commandment with promise. So there's a promise here. Verse 3 speaks about the promise says, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Let me repeat the, the promise again. That it may be well with you, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Today we are here to worship the Lord and honor our mothers. Not only are we, to, are we commanded to honor our mothers, it's also the sensible and the right thing and loving thing to do for our mothers. Many of us here today wish we still had our mothers living so we can honor them, remember them, and love them. Let me... Let me just encourage you to those that their mothers have long have gone and passed to be with the Lord. I encourage you to think of the good things 
of the blessings that your mom had brought in your life. I want you to think the positive things, the good times that, your mom, that, your, that you have had with your moms. Remember the pictures. Remember when your mom used to bring you to church to sing those songs, to worship the Lord. Remember the good things, the holy things, the good things and the blessings that God has brought to you through your mother. Amen? And honor them with that. Honor them with their memory this Mother's Day. Let me give you a little illustration. A six-year-old boy separated from his mother in a supermarket began to call frantically for Martha, Martha, Martha. That was his mother's name. And she came running quickly to him. But honey, she admonished, you shouldn't call me Martha. I'm mother to you. And the child responded, yes, I know. But this store is full of mothers. Our world, brothers and sisters, is full of moms. Of all walks of life. But we have only one mother who is special. It should be. She should be. And must always be. There is no, there is no one like our moms. And no one can take that place of our mothers. No nadie puede tomar el lugar de nuestras mamás. Solamente tenemos una mamá que es especial en nuestras vidas. No hay nadie como nuestras madres. Nuestras madres tienen que ser especial y tienen que ser especial en nuestras vidas. Nadie puede tomar el lugar de nuestras madres. You automatically, someone once wrote, you turn into a mom when you automatically double knot everything you tie. You find yourself humming the Barney song as you do the dishes. You turn into a mom when you actually start to, to like the smell of carrots mixed with applesauce. You turn into a mom when you hear a baby cry in the grocery store and you start to gently sway back and forth. However, your children are either at school or long gone. You turn into a mother when you spend a half an hour searching for your sunglasses only to have a te your teenager say, Mom, why don't you wear the ones you, pushed up, you have pushed up on your head? You turn into a mom when you are out for a nice romantic meal with your husband, enjoying some real adult conversation. When suddenly you realize that you've reached over and started to cut his steak. Mothers have a sense of mothering their children and mothering their families, even their husband. Here are things our mothers taught us. My mother taught us to appreciate a job well done. If you're going to kill each other, do it outside. I just finished cleaning. Mother taught us about religion. You better pray that will that will come out of you better pray that that will come out of that carpet. Mother also taught us about time travel. If you don't straighten up, I'm going to knock you in, into the middle of next week. Mother also taught us logic. Because I said so, that's why. Mother taught us foresight. Make sure you wear clean underwear in case you are in an accident. <laughs> Mother taught us all irony. Keep crying and I'll give you something to cry about. Remember that? Mother also taught us about the science of osmosis. Shut your mouth and eat your supper. <laughs> Mother taught us about stamina. You 
sit there until you until that spinach is gone. Remember that? Mother trying to get us to eat our vegetables? <laughs> Mother taught us about the weather. This room of yours looks like as if a tornado went through it. Mother taught us the circle of life. I brought you into this world and I can take you out. <laughs> Mother taught us about behavior modification. Stop acting like your father. Remember that? <laughs> oh boy. Mother taught us about envy. There are millions of less fortunate children in this world who don't have wonderful parents like you do. <laughs> oh man. It's funny. Mother taught us about anticipation. Just wait until he until we get home. Remember that? When we had heard that from mom, we knew we were in trouble, right? Mother taught us about receiving. You're going to get it when you get home. <laughs> I remember I used to tell my kids all, uh, that plenty of times. Those were the days. Mother taught us about medical science. If you don't stop crossing your eyes, the, the, the wind will change you and you'll stay like that. I used to tell my kids, if you make that face, their, their, uh, their face is gonna get stuck in that position. I can't remember those days. Mother taught us how to become an adult. If you don't eat your vegetables, you'll never grow up. <laughs> oh, man. Mother taught us about genetics. You act just like your father. <laughs> I remember my wife Wendy telling me those, uh, telling our children that. That was funny. Good times, good times, brothers and sisters. Mother taught us about our roots. Shut that door behind you. Don't you, don't you, do you think you lived, you were born in a barn? I remember those sayings. Mother taught us wisdom. When you, get, when you get to be my age, you'll understand. Remember that? To all of our Hispanic mothers out there, I, re I remember my mom used to tell me, un dia vas a entender. That's what our Hispanic mothers would tell us. Un dia vas a entender, mi hijo. Mother taught us about justice. One day you'll have kids and I hope they turn out just like you. <laughs> yeah, I remember your parents telling you that. Oh man. On Mother's Day, we can't we can't say enough good things about our mothers. But we will try. And God help us if we don't. I want to share briefly three thoughts this morning in today's message. I want to speak about our mother's hands work. I want to speak about our mother's mouth that, that her, our mother's mouth that speaks. I want to speak about her heart's love for her family. Let me give you an illustration. A boy got his first job. As he was boasting about the amount of work he did, he said, I get up at 5 a.m. and I have my breakfast. He was asked, does anyone else get to get up too? The, the young boy replies, oh yes, mother gets up and fixes breakfast and then fixes my dad's breakfast. And what about your dinner? The boy said, oh, mother fixes that too. And he replies, does your mother have the afternoon off? For herself? The boy replied, no, mama cleans the house, looks after the other children, and gets supper for me and dad when we come home. Then we watch TV before we go to bed. What about your mom? What does she do? The boy replied, mama washes some clothes and irons the rest of the evening. Do you get paid? Of course, dad and I 
get paid? And what about your mother? Does she get paid too? The boy replied, mother getting paid? Mother don't get paid. She don't do no work. Oh boy. That's a, that's a dangerous thing for a child to say. Mother doesn't get paid. She don't, doesn't do any work. Anyone here today that believes that moms don't do work, I would suggest that you just better keep your mouth shut. That's my wise advice for you. In Proverbs 31, we see that mothers do all kinds of work. Amen? In Proverbs 31, we see that las mamás hacen un montón de trabajo. Su trabajo nunca se termina. Amen? Proverbios 13, 19 and 22. In Proverbs 13, 19 and 22, she sows. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Yes, moms work with their hands. Yes, men, fathers and men and husbands, they do work with their hands too. But it's only from sun, from sun up to sun down. But mothers work with their hands 24-7. Verse 19 says, she laid her hands to the spindle and her hands hold the distaff. Verse 22, she maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. In verse 14, in versículo 14, in Proverbios 31, ella va a compras. She shops. She bringeth her food from afar. In other words, my mother goes to great lengths to buy what is needed to provide for the, also for the family, to feed the family. The husband is not also the provider. Mother is as well, both your mom and your dad. Verse 15, she cooks. Versículo 15, ella cocina. She giveth meat to her household, it says. She cooks. How wonderful our moms can cook, huh? Great food. I love the way my mom cooks. She cooks some, the greatest Mexican food in the world, in my opinion. She's the best. My wife, too. I love her, her rice and, and, uh, and beef soup. I love it. My wife does a good job. It's my favorite. Verse 16, versículo 16 in Proverbios 31. She gardens. The fruit of her hands, she planted a vineyard. She does not also work inside. She works outside as well. Right? She works with her hands. Her job is never done. Amen? Our text also says that mothers, in verse 15, she riseth also while it is yet night to prepare food. And verse 18 says, her candle goeth not out by night. In other words, our mother's job is never done. She's always till till. She's, a mother's always, I remember my mom being late at night sometimes, taking care of the, uh, the food for the next morning. I remember my mom waking up early in the morning, uh, making breakfast for us. My mom was always busy. She had to go to work. Your mom goes to work. She, she does work at home. Her job is never done. That's what the scripture says. She rises also while it's yet night. In other words, she rises early in the morning. Las mamás se levantan en la, en la, este, temprano en la madrugada cuando todavía está oscuro. Y a, y a veces duermen bien noche también porque siempre están cuidando a la familia. Siempre están cuidando al esposo y a los hijos. El trabajo de la mamá nunca se acaba. Amen. What, what's that old saying, brothers and sisters? Man's work from sun to, from sun, to sun, but a woman's work is never done. Isn't that true? I, well, I go to work at 8, 8 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock in the morning, and I come home at a specific time, but my wife's job is never done. When I get home, she prepares my, uh, my meal for me. God, I, I, I love her and I bless her for that. And she feeds my, 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 my daughter. Her, her job is never done. She stops. Uh, she stops what she's doing just to get, uh, get uh, just to prepare my dinner. If that is not work, I don't know what to tell you. We should show us husbands. We need to show appreciation appreciation to our wives for everything that they do. 
And my wife does not get paid for, for making my meal. Amen? It's the same thing with your moms. It's the same thing with your spouses. Brothers, her job is never done. Look at what verse 27 says. Vamos a ver lo que versículo 27 dice. Amen? Proverbios 31, 27. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not of bread of idleness. In other words, she isn't lazy. She sacrifices herself to feed her, her husband. She sacrifices herself, her own hunger, to feed her children. I remember there's often times when my, when my wife sometimes does that. I remember there's times when, when uh, there's been times when, when uh, she prepares the meal for us first, and then she, and then she eats later. Or sometimes she says, I'm not hungry. And she'd rather for me and my daughter to eat than herself. If that is not a blessing, if, I, if that's not a blessing of having a wife like hers, I don't know what it is. You see, my wife is not lazy. Your mom is not lazy. She sacrifices herself. It says, she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not. You see what I'm saying? And eateth not the bread of idleness. In other words, she's not lazy. Amen? She sacrifices herself for her husband and for her children. Her mouth speaks. Proverbs 31, verse 26. La boca de nuestras mamás habla. Proverbios 31, 26. says, she openeth her mouth with wisdom. And her tongue is a law of kindness. In other words, our moms have a way to speak to us. They have a, a sensitivity, so to speak, in the way they speak to her husband and the way she speaks to her children. She speaks wisdom and her tongue is the law of kindness. In other words, she's very sweet. Right? She speaks with compassion. She speaks with love. Amen? That's what our moms are. Nuestras palabras, nuestras mamás hablan con, con amor. Nuestras mamás los hablan con suavemente. Ella los habla con sabiduría. When preacher John Wesley was a student at Oxford University, he was shocked by the amount of drinking done by the students. Wonder what he would, wonder what he would think about college students these days. After writing to his mother, Susanna Wesley, Susanna Wesley, for her mother's counsel, he received the following words from her mother. My dear son, Remember that anything which increases the authority of the body over the mind is an evil thing. That's great instruction, isn't it? She spoke to her son with wisdom. She spoke to her son with love and kindness by saying, My dear beloved son. My dear son. And then she spoke with wisdom. And I'm sure the, Su the Susanna... I'm sure that Susanna Wesley said a lot of other good words of wisdom to her children. A London editor submitted to Winston Churchill for his approval a list of all those who had been Ch Churchill's teachers. Churchill returned the list with this comment. You have omitted them to mention the greatest of, of all my teachers, my mother. Preacher G. Campbell Morgan had four sons, and they all came and all became ministers of the gospel. At a family reunion, a friend asked one of the sons, Which Morgan is the greatest preacher? While that son looked at his father, he replied, Mother. Many mothers have done a lot of preaching to their children, whether they considered it preaching or not. Her heart loves. You know, I was speaking earlier that our mothers speak to us with love, 
They love us unconditionally. No matter what we have done, our mothers still love us. Kind of sounds similar to the love of God, doesn't it? That God loves us unconditionally. The same godly love has been instilled in our mothers. They love us unconditionally. No matter what we have done, no matter how much we have rebelled against our mothers, they still love us. Amen? They, they love with a godly love for their children and for their husband. Proverbs 31 la, el corazón de la madre ama a su familia, a sus hijos y a sus padres, y a sus esposos. Proverbs 31, 11 a 12 dice esto. Proverbs 11, 31, verse 11 to 12 says this. The heart of her husband, the heart of her husband, do it safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. In other words, the, uh, a mother or a wife that loves with her heart will do good to her children, to her husband, and will not speak evil against her husband or her children all her days of her life. In Proverbs 31, of course, we're talking about the, the virtuous woman, the virtuous mother, right? The strong woman of God. Right? The virtuous mother, the virtuous wife, all the qualities that our mothers have that we love and dear so much. Let me read it again. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her. Brothers and sisters, let me ask you this. Do you trust your wife? Do you trust your wife to take care of you? Right? I would say I tr trust my wife. I've been trusting my wife for all 21 years I've been married with her. I am so blessed to have my wife as uh, Wendy as my wife. I love her so much. I am so glad she is the mother of my children. My wife is uh, looking at me. I love her. Amen. Praise the Lord. And it goes on. She shall, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Amen. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You see, our moms love her children with a godly love from her heart. And she does the same for her husband as well. If a husband has a full or complete confidence in his wife, then you know that she is a woman who loves her man. Amen? I know my wife loves me. I know my wife loves me, and I'm sure your wife loves you, brothers and sisters, brothers. An epitaph on his wife's tombstone written by her husband after 60 years of marriage read, She always made home happy. She always made home happy. That's love. That is a love that comes from a mother's and wife's heart. Loving her household, loving her family, loving her children till her last breath. All the days of her life. She did her family good and did no evil to her family all the days of her life. That is love, brothers and sisters. She always made home happy. A grandmother was telling her granddaughter good night when the little girl said, mommy, mommy and Daddy are entertaining some very important people downstairs. The grandma replied, You're right. But how did you know? The little granddaughter said, Just listen. Mommy is laughing at all of Daddy's jokes. Brothers and sisters, where there is a lot of laughter in a home, you just know that something good is happening in that home. And of course, there needs to be more laughter in the home. Proverbs 17, 22, Proverbios 17, 22, los dice que tiene que haber, este, tiene que haber risa y, y gozo y tenemos que estar contentos. In nuestros corazones. Proverbs 17, 27 says that we must be merry 
A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. In other words, laughter and, and joy is good medicine. It relieves and heals our, the stresses of life in the turbulent times that we live in right now. It's good to laugh. It's good to laugh at, at your daddy's jokes. It's good to laugh at your mom's jokes. It's good to have joy and to have peace in your life in this, in this troubled time. It heals the soul. It heals our mind. It heals our worries away. Amen. It's, it says it's good like a medicine. It does us good. Amen. Laughter is good medicine. When there's a lot of laughter in a home, someone is putting out some good medicine. Ain't it? And it also shows a lot of love. It shows that our mother, our wives love their families. A teacher at school put this question to little James in math class. James, suppose your mother made a cherry pie and there were 10 of you at the table. Your mother and father and eight children. How much of the pie would you get? Little young James replied, a ninth. The teacher replied, no, no, James. Now pay attention. There are ten of you in the home. Don't you know your fractions? The young man replied, yes, ma'am. I know my fractions, but I know my mother even better. And she said, and she'd say that she didn't even want any pie. Kind of you see, our mother sacrificed everything for their children. And this, and this illustration kind of reminds me of what my wife does for us sometimes. She sacrifices her own hunger so that I may eat, and so that my daughter may eat, so my son can eat. I'm so blessed to have my wife as a mother of my children. I'm so blessed. And she does this all the time. I, I, I just want to honor my wife for that. I don't want to embarrass my wife, but... I want to honor my wife for being who she is, for being so loving to me, for putting up with me. And here in this example, in this illustration, the young James says, but I know my mother even better, and she'd say that she didn't want any pie. The unselfishness of a mother shows a heart of love for her family. My wife is so unselfish. She thinks of her family before herself. And all of us can remember many unselfish acts of devotion our mamas made to our homes. I, rem I remember all the things that my mom did for me and my, my brother Aldo and my sister Nancy. My mother had to be, had to be a, a father as well. At the same time, she had to fill the, she wasn't our father, but she fulfilled the role of that. She had to be a, the disciplinary. She had to be the one to, to guide us and direct us. She had to be the one to raise us. And my mom worked in a second shift. She worked a lot of jobs to get us to move forward. My mom did a lot of unselfish things for me and my brother and my sister to move forward. For us to be able to go to school, for us to be able to eat. I remember the times when, when uh, during the year that we struggled, where all we had to eat was just rice and beans. And I remember my mom stressed out over it. I remember seeing my mom worried about it, but my mom still, somehow mom still moved forward and had the strength to, to encourage us and to move forward. We had food on the table, thank God. We had rice and beans. And for a year, that's all we ate. So I'm so grateful for what my mom did. The sacrifices that my mom did. The devotion of my mom to me and my brother Aldo and my, si and my little sister Nancy. I'm so grateful for my mom. Estoy muy agradecida por mi mamá. Yo me acuerdo a tiempos cuando mi mamá trabajaba muchos, muchas noches. Se trabajaba segundo turno para poder seguir a sus hijos adelante. Yo me acuerdo que había un año que que lo único que podemos comer era arroz y frijoles. Era un tiempo muy difícil para mi mamá, pero mi mamá, una razón u otra, tenía la fortaleza para seguirnos adelante. Y mi mamá 
este, hacía todo lo posible para poder dar la, este, de comer a sus hijos. Ella, tu, ella, to, este, ella sacrificó mucho para, para seguir a sus hijos, yo y mi hermano Aldo y mi hermana Nancy, adelante. Y yo estoy muy agradecido por mi mamá. Y yo, yo quiero extenderle gracias a mi mamá por todo lo que tú has hecho, mamá. Te amo mucho, te quiero. I love you, mamá. I love you, man. Thomas Edison once said, I did not have my mother long, but she cast over me an influence which has lasted all of my life. The good effects of her early training I can never lose. If it had not been for her appreciation and her faith in me at a critical time in my experience, I should have never likely have become an inventor. I always, I was always a careless boy, and with a mother of different, of different mental caliber, I should have turned out badly. But her firmness, her sweetness, her goodness, her potent powers to keep me in the right path. My mother was the making of me. The memory of her will always be a blessing to me. What a loving tribute to be to a blessed mother. I remember when my mom, you know, I was saying earlier that my mom had to be the disciplinary. At the same time, she had to be loving. At the same time, she had to move us forward. At the same time, she had to take care of us. My mom, this descript, this illustration that I gave you describes my mom perfectly. My mom's discipline, her firmness, my mom's sweetness, my mom's goodness, her ways of keeping me in the right path to be the man that I am today. I couldn't have done it without my mom. I couldn't have been um, the, the man that I am now if it wasn't for my mom, if it wasn't for my mom's firmness, if it wasn't for my mom's sweetness, if it wasn't for my mom's goodness, if it wasn't for her to try her best to keep all of us in the right path. Because of my mom, I am who I am. And I love you, mom. Te quiero mucho, mom. Gracias por todo. Proverbios 31, 28 dice eso. Proverbs 31, 28 says, Her children... Arise up and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praiseth her. Let me read this again. I end with the scripture. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Right now, young children, right now, brothers and sisters whose mothers are still with you, I want you to turn to them. And young people, turn to your mothers right now. I'll rise up, children, and call your mom blessed. In other words, bless your mom. Said, Mom, God bless you. Mamá, Dios te bendiga. Y que Dios te bendiga el resto de tu vida, mom. Te quiero mucho. Say, Mom, God bless you. I love you. I appreciate you, everything you've done for me, mom. Turn around and do that and hug your mom. And wish her happy Mother's Day. And in verse, the second verse says, Her husband also, and he praiseth her. You know, just like, in other words, brothers, turn to your wives. And in front of the whole world, in front of everybody, your children, praise your wife. Show some appreciation for your wife. Amen. Tell, call her blessed. Bless her. Love her. Show appreciation to her. I would even dare you wash the dishes for her as well. Amen. Not just today, but every day. Show appreciation to your, to your wife. Because she deals with a lot. She deals with you. And she has to put up with your children. Amen. So... So in this Mother's Day, I would like to extend 
a happy Mother's Day to my mom, to all of our mothers in Blessing Grove Church of God of Prophecy, to all of our moms in the community, to all of our moms on Facebook that are listening to this live. And I'd like to say Happy Mother's Day to my wife, Wendy Lopez. I love you, honey. Thank you for, for loving our children. Thank you for being so sweet and so loving and understanding to our children. Love you, honey. Let us pray. Let us bow our heads this morning. We're showing appreciation to our mothers, Lord. Father, we ask that you bless them. Father, we ask that you that your favor be upon our mothers. Father, we ask that you sanctify our mothers. Father, we ask that you bless them with good health. Father, I pray that you bless them with courage. Father, I pray that you continue to bless them with godly perseverance. Father, I pray that, that you that you that you uh, that that you bless them with children that honor them all the time, Lord. Father, I pray that you bless our mothers where their husbands and their children call her blessed. Father, I pray that, that, you, that you touch our hearts, Lord, the hearts of the husbands, that you touch the hearts of the children to give us a heart of appreciation, Lord, to our wives, to give us a heart of appreciation and gratefulness for our mothers. Father, today we ask, Lord, that you help us show appreciation to our moms and our wives, Lord. That you continue to, to give up, to continue to give them a heart to love, to be firm. To be loving, to be strong, to be faithful, to be sweet, to be good, to keep to keep their spouses in line, to keep their children in the right path. Father, we ask that you bless them and that your light shine upon them. Father, we call our mothers blessed. Father, we praise them today, Lord. Father, first of all, we praise you today because we are blessed because of our mothers. And we praise our mothers, Lord. We lift them up in praise. We lift them up in blessing. And we bless them. And we love our mothers. And we hug them. And we appreciate them, Lord. Father, we ask that you always be with them, Lord. Give them the courage that they need to move their, their families forward, Lord. Bless all of our mothers in this entire congregation. Father, we ask that you bless all of us, all of us Lord. All of our children and the spouses, Lord and our mothers and wives, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let us praise the Lord this morning. Let us praise Him from our hearts. Let us praise God like our mothers love us, like we love God. Father, thank you for our mothers. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate you, Lord, for our moms. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers on Facebook Live. May God be with you. 
May God bless you. May God's light shine upon you. And may you enjoy your, with your, your time with your family. And God be with you and God sanctify you. God bless you. From the Church of God of Prophecy. We'll see you next time.